I'm interested in opening up standard devices and, and situations to give another, another point of view. And in the sense, game, gaming culture is quite mainstream and quite sterile. Um, I also, I think that there has been some interventions in, into the engines, but um, I, I'm experimenting to see how much I can well, mess, mess that very you know, rigid structured form, form up in the sense with um, imbuing it with subjectivity and so forth. And, and also what I'm looking at is how, and that's what I'm looking at a lot in most of my works, is how ar arcane practices are informing um, contemporary or emergent technologies. So in the sense, the game controller, which is completely like immediate response and feedback and this kind of quite um, or haptic kind of controller, how that becomes, uh, that is actually like a cipher key to unlock, to unlock meaning. I see hackers as pointing to gaps in, in knowledge or things that perhaps aren't, are being looked over. Um, and I see, yeah, and, that, and that's what I'm trying to do well, in this work, and that's how I relate to the Ministry of Hacking. And also the idea of um, well, tactical feminism is, I feel, I'm thinking a lot about what is feminist technology, because apparently there's no literature on it at the moment, but in a sense, well, there is, but maybe there needs, it needs to be articulated more. And I think as a, a feminist working with technology and in terms of the tactical feminism, I'm proposing a different kind of subject and object relation to the game or to any kind of technology in the sense that, yeah, kind of sub subverting the paradigm of, of the, the game or the interface. The meaning of the work in Pataphysical Salon, there's ne not necessarily um, human forms in it, but definitely there is human language and an experience, a subjective experience which guides um, the player. But in a sense, then the player ends up becoming understood that they're being played because the directions that they're being told to go on isn't necessarily um, analogous to where they're going, so then it kind of creates this junction. The fact that the game that we're creating is not played through as a traditional a traditional game. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're hacking that idea, that platform. And in that sense, uh, I think it becomes, um, well, it can become a feminist act. It can become an anti-establishment uh, act in itself because if you really look into the, the gaming um, arena uh, or area, you know, often these games, um, the structures within them and, and the narratives within them, um, they're really quite uh, patriarchal, uh, you know. It's about winning, it's not about sharing, it's about uh, dominating, uh, this sort of thing. Um, so this is why I think this is, this is interesting to us, um, to use the game engine as, as a tool in, 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 the art, in the artwork. And it's also a reflection on the, the fact that you may be yeah, a non-player or, or you might be kind of overcome by the, the software and hardware that, in fact, it, it plays you as much as you think that you have agency in it. Perhaps it inscribes you and as computer users, most of us, um, on a daily basis, this actually has a physiological effect. And so what, what, 
what what does that actually mean? You know, so that it's about creating an awareness. So in terms of the notion of the hacker is creating, again, creating awareness and pointing to holes and gaps in the system or knowledge that perhaps are vulnerable points. And at the same time, uh, yeah, not, in my view, it's not about identity saying, oh, I'm a hacker, oh, I'm a feminist. I'm not interested in that at all. Although actually until now I've, um, often avoided those questions because I'm not interested in having this, um, this fixed identity. Uh, I don't think it's about identity. I think it's more about identity theft, the identity theft of hardware and software on the person's agency. And um, I think uh, yeah, notions of identity, whether it's race, class, gender, national, nationalism is very, very harmful. So it's this idea of seeing yourself as a human on a continuum, you know. The, the whole gaming world um, is very interesting. I think it's a, in itself is a, is a new form of artwork. If you look at some of these games and the amount of the, the team that goes into making them and uh, the visual aspects and the sonic aspects and the, and the playability of these games, then they're a whole uh, world on, on, unto themselves whether they're considered artistic in the, in the fine art, high art sense, probably not. Um, but to me, uh, I consider them to be very much um, in, in that vein of what is popular now. Uh, and there's, there's a lot of uh, creative energy going into, into these things. So for me, um, that becomes very important and can't be ignored. Uh, I would love to make a, 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 an amazingly long game that people love to play, but I've, I can't, I just don't have those skills. Uh, so for me, it's sort of interest in still having a, still being able to play, still having a, a go and making something within that, within that world. Um, that's really my starting point. Uh, my res when, I, when I see the things that we're actually able to create and, and the dichotomy there between what is and what we're producing, that's when the interesting discussion comes into it. That's when um, a lot of uh, different issues are, are brought up in terms of um, what is it we're dealing with here, uh, why is what we're creating different to, to what is the, the mainstream creation within this genre and how does that affect people's, people's thinking. And for me, look, uh, I think that's sort of um, a hacking approach, um, you know, rather than uh, necessarily breaking into something to show you can do it, um, but playing, you know, like in the sandpit um, and being a big important thing, I think, for, for both Nancy and I in our work is uh, the ability to get not so much everyone involved, but um, the ability that everyone can 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 be involved or can uh, can be the, the person they want to be. Owning these new technologies, and I'm not saying I own this, you know, give, give it to me. I'm saying that, um, you know, I'm happy to work within this medium with, with the narratives and the stories that I want to put across. Um, I'm, I'm happy to, to use this medium to, to, to put them across. And so for me, this, this game becomes uh, very much about the, the narrative sort of behind it and, uh, and these, these dreams and this well, portal to, a, to, to memories and to, a, to another world. So he's talking well. about the tessellated pavements, which is this oh, yeah. matrix kind of um, nature, nature made, <laughs> um, natural landform, which is just completely tessellated and it really looks like this platform to the underworld and And some sort of network, the way the rocks are also all um, broken up. It itself looks like um, some sort of networked structure yeah, or, or some kind as, as well. So I think that's where some motherboard of or yeah, it's just it's 
it's just such a magical place. And, you know, the idea that, um, yeah, how to, how to pick the lock to the back door of, of, you know, that place to kind of, you know, it's a portal or it's a space, like, how do I get under mm. it? And so, yeah, in that sense, it's, it's a, you know, trying to hack that space or and, and explore the that in in a sense like you know it's very um exuberant and kind of sumptuous it's not really about technical function and an objective to you know make sure you're useful and and this kind of stuff which i find is um the burden of being inside maybe a more male dominated technical culture is about oh you know what what's the project? What are the objectives? What do you need to achieve? And and there's no room to kind of bring in trippy, quite trippy, or or maybe quite arcane uh, modes of thinking, and to see how they interact with that. And so I guess my work is always exploring yeah the resonances and and dissonances of performing arts and computer science. And performing arts, I mean, in, in the really old sense of theatre. But yeah. I mean, wouldn't it be wonderful if the game genre became something that we could all be involved in and we could make a game that I, I could make a game that you or someone else could play and they might understand how I feel through through playing that game. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Wouldn't that <laughs> wouldn't that be a dream? I mean maybe maybe it'll be awful. is basically, again, even though, you know, it's a, vis a, a video scape, is to take the emphasis off the optical and kind of, you know, be there in a, in a more haptic manner and experience maybe the sound and it's not about a game objective but it's more about, you know, travelling um, through a space um, and kind of as, as you are the player... I mean, you don't see your form, you see um, quite an abstract prism form. As you're travelling through, it's more about creating a soundscape than actually really about getting to a new level or winning. So it's more actually that you're creating, it's a, you're tricked into creating a sound work <laughs> and, and really the, the visual is, is subordinate. And that, that's what you end up discovering as, you know, you see these, all these messages everywhere. If you stick with it, you end up, yeah. Yeah, I'm also trying to create the work um, knowing that it's going to be um, exhibited uh, for a long time in this gallery um, in such a way that uh, there, this sort of use, oh, I would love this, this is, you know, can, can enjoy creating the, the soundscape and this sort of thing. But... Um, someone else can come up and go, I don't like that, and, and leave it in some spot, and the sound will still be interesting to the uh, the people running the gallery. So I'm like, <laughs> boing, 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 They won't have boing, to just boing, come boing, and boing. <laughs> turn that off. Yeah. So, so I'm very much thinking about um, about that that process as well, that the work, work exists um, in the way we're trying to present it as, as this... this soundscape creator and it also exists as this interactive mm. interactive work and it has to be it has to be both. Mm. 